Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Broski Minutes. Hey guys, we are gonna unbox a folding electric scooter from Jetson. The model name is Quest. Let's go into the video. Guys, this is the scooter taken out from the box. It has a charger, the head unit assembled. They have given screws to assemble it. It looks quite neat. It was packed very nice. This is the head unit of the scooter. Now let us see how to assemble it. First let us make sure that the handle straightened and locked properly with the latch. Make sure the handlebar is locked. We need to ensure that all the wires are kept inside the bar before we screw it. Here is the allen key wrench and they have given all the screws to fit this head unit. Just ensure that all the four screws are taken to fix this head. Make sure it's not over tight. Now we are going to tighten the brake caliper. It has an integrated bell. We are going to install the handles. They are given like a screwing type. We need to screw on both the sides to fix the handles. The color is good. It's not leather. It looks like leather. It's a rubber synthetic type. It feels solid and grippy. Make sure the handle fits good. This is the locking mechanism of the scooter to carry. It's like all other universal scooters. It has a good solid metal feel to it. need to raise the latch to lock it and additional safety strap is given the brake cable has been protected well with a sleeve the scooter is assembled feels solid it runs in a 36 volt 250 watt motor with a solid rubber tires it has a nice texture in the platform area it feels grippy it also features a rear disc brake with a brake light this is the charging port area, it is placed in the left side of the scooter. It takes 3 to 4 hours for a complete charge. Standing area is a metal surface, but the bottom area is not a metal. So you should be very careful while riding it over the path holes. Now let us switch on the scooter. We need to long press the power on button. The display shows the battery level, odometer, gear display. It also shows the Bluetooth and headlight indicators. It has a brake light with switch, so when we apply the brake, it brightens up. And it looks brighter. We need to double click the power on button to turn on the headlights. It looks brighter with 4 LEDs. 
there is a beam light placed in which multiple color options were given through the mobile app the blue colored base light looks wonderful during the night time it has a supportable mobile app in the play store it is very simple to use but it doesn't feature a lock system once the scooter is connected the app shows the gear position which shows our personal details we can track the ride wherever we go just linked with our map to track our ride these are the light options which we are seeing we can switch on the headlight to through the app and we can set the color of the beam light and the brightness of the beam light to the app there is no switch control or app control to switch on the baseboard light it glows one speed switch on the scooter when the day time it is on i have kept it on charge once it is charged we can take it out for a ride this is the complete assembled unit i took it to a nearby park near my house let us see how it handles the road and things it goes to a top speed of 14 miles per hour the scooter feels smooth in flat surface in a surface like this the solid tires feels little sturdy The initial pickup is smooth and it picks up gradually. The electric motor kicks in after 3 miles per hour. On a surface like this, it's very nice to ride. It struggles little bit in a gravel area. down the road it's very nice to ride on flat areas it feels good and the throttle feels little plastic maybe they might have given it a bigger throttle it feels a little small for the size of the scooter since it has solid rubber tires in front and back we no need to worry about the flat fix and maintenance During wet conditions we should be very careful because the solid tires will feel little greasy on sandy areas it feels little good we no need to worry that tire will get struck but we cannot take this into our road this pathway is a little incline about 10% and it handles good it expects a push from us and it goes beyond 10 great hills It lacks little pepiness 
in the inclined areas and steeps. The scooter is a very good option for daily commute and for any essential travel nearby areas. It gives a lot of fun when we drive it in a flat surface. For this budget, this is a very good option. The company says it will give 18 miles per charge but we expect to give nearly 10 at least. There is no suspension at the front and the back. The company says there is a solid rubber tires with holes acts as a suspension. I will confirm you guys later. We need to be careful while riding in the gravel area since it is solid rubber tires. It's not slippery but it feels jerky. The handle grip feels good so we feel very solid when we drive in any kind of surface. I'm riding this in a walkway of a highway. Even though there is a lot of wind it feels good. The scooter feels very well planted. The tires are not slippery in these conditions. Maybe in wet conditions we should be careful and ride it slowly. I have traveled nearly 7 miles. I have still 3 levels of battery left. By calculating this range, I am getting around 12 to 13 miles now. I have many start and stops in this travel. Maybe I will update you guys later after using for a long run. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. We will do a long term review later. And update you guys how it performs in the real world conditions. I personally recommend this scooter, it's very nice to ride, it's a good one. Subscribe my channel for more videos, guys. Take care, ride safe, stay safe. Bye bye.